Hello Donuts, today we are going to be watching TikToks that only British schoolers will understand. And as this video goes on, the more relatable they get, so stick around. John wants 250 bananas. They cost 32 pence each. The store only has 212 bananas. So he purchases 212 bananas, 30 watermelons for 60 pence each, and 8 lemons for 8 pence each. Why did you John buy any pineapples? This is so relatable. Jill and her bloody bananas. God. You should, I tell you what, you can shove our bananas where the sun doesn't bloody shine. It would always be like the first question as well. They were so hard. Like, what does that even prepare you for in life? I go to Aldi, okay? I look at the price of the bananas. I'm like, okay, what? Like, a quid? I can afford that. It's going in the basket. Right? I'm not like, well, there's six bananas there. There's five bananas. I'm not working out all this. Do I look like Stephen Hawking? Please answer no, because that would be bad for my confidence. Not anything against Stephen. Although he was not a weird stuff, so maybe he's a little bit against him. And then it just expanded from there. So two hits, Lucas AIDS, year nine, that's when it also grew. But then in year eight, I was able to employ a seller. Then at the end of year eight, another seller. Are these other kids? Yeah, all other kids. In other so, schools? Yeah, all so other how schools. How do you find them? I mean, what? Because I'm. do you have to interview them? What makes a good... God, this guy's running his own Nike factory in the UK. Guys, what are the working standards for this? There shouldn't be kids in school working for this man, for this man with, a, with a very good hairline. Very good hairline. That, that's what happened to any young guys. Then you get to my age and it just goes downhill. I'm talking as if I'm like 40. What am, I, what am I saying? Do you know in school, everybody had that kid that would, you know, sell Sour Pops or sell LucasAids or sell a Freddo. Right? And you knew that he was ripping you off, but you couldn't get it anywhere else, so you had to pay it. This guy, I feel like this guy's got ulterior motives. He's like actually employing people to work for him. This guy's like a, like a, like a, like a school version of Jeff Bezos. And then if they give me a good enough answer why, if they really want to make money, if they really are hungry to make money, and they come from humble beginnings and they're, they're eager to work hard legally. Bro, bro, you, you, you're just selling sour pops, like... <laughs> You're just selling ripples. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. If he's if he's humble, uh, you know, if he's got a good work. What do you mean if he's humble? Why does he need to be hu humble to sell lollipops? What has that got to do with it? Let him brag about those lollipops. He's only bloody selling them for about twenty pence. What do you mean he has to be humble? He's got nothing to 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 shout home about. Also, like, I'm deadly interested to know, like, how this kid became this kid at such a young age. Surely there's kids now that watch, you know, them TikToks that come up of, like, Sigma males, where it's like, I don't follow the pack. I make my own path. And you're like, what, what the fuck does that even mean? Like, this, I feel like this kid is, like, the definition of those people on TikTok. Respect to it, though. I think. <laughs> Yo, why is it so cold? I'm not leaving my warm bed. <laughs> Jackets off inside. <laughs> Miss, please, it's minus five degrees. Jackets off. <sighs> that was so true. Why did they tell you that? Like, teachers, if they saw you wearing your jacket in school, would be like... <gasps> <gasps> they would take it as like a personal offence. It's like, look, love, I'm just a bit chilly. Fair enough, right, if you're in lesson and they don't want you to wear the coat, fine. But when you're walking around school, come on! They'll be looking like the day after tomorrow outside, and they'll want you in your bare bones of your sweatshirt. And then, the worst thing is, they'd be wearing about 40 layers! <sighs> one rule for them, one rule for us. Honestly, guys, when's it gonna end? Take your coat off, no coats allowed during PE. So how come you're allowed to wear a coat? <laughs> I'm the school teacher, mate. Please, sir, it's so cold. Well, if you're cold, how about you warm up by doing some laps? Guy really doesn't like the cold. Uh, that was the worst thing about walking to school. Like, I used to have to wear, like, gloves. Like, these like these night gloves. And then I'd wear, like, just normal gloves over them because my hands would be so freezing. And I, I used to take, like, half an hour to get to school as well, like, walk. And I used to be so cold. Oh, that was... Uh, now I'm... Uh, that, that must be, like, what in, when it's windy as well. Oh! Oh, it's like you're doing a bush took a trial before chemistry. Why? Luckily, my school was like terribly built, so when it got like to a certain level of coldness, the school had just shut. Away in a manger, no oh. crib for a bed. My little Lord oh, Jesus, 
You would. There was always one who like thought they were mint. You were like, Margaret, man, shut your bloody hole. Steal all the like, get out, Margaret. There was always one teacher as well who like, you know, they had aspirations of being a singer, but they had to put it on hold because they started a family. You know, one of them, and then they'd use assembly as like. As if they were on, like, X Factor. As if that was, like, their, their time to shine. As if everyone there was was there to see them. We had that... T- I don't know if that's just... That was just in my school. <laughs> are, they, are they making these guys perform? Hey. Listen. What's going on? Hello. What's happening? Hey. Are forcing them to do Listen. this? Nando on the white I see, I take my time and I do it for the team. Oh. I mean, be for 20 oh my god, the ultimate team. Right. You know the step team team. I might just fuck up my team. Oh. What? You know the step team team. I might just fuck up my team. Now, Bobby, one on one and die. She just want to take her time. Aye! Oh no, that is mid. That is mid. Sorry, that's. The mates are going to take the piss out of them. But I don't actually understand the scenario here. Like, have the mates forced them to do this? They look like they were standing as if there was a gun behind the camera. Oh, that's actually so good. Because you know that them two have, like, went to each other's houses on the night time and went, right, so basically, we're going to have this act. We can go on Britain's Got Talent. I'm going to rap, and you're just going to f***ing do some moves next to us, and it's going to be mint. You see, the little kid was like, God, unbelievable rhythm. Can you smell my fart? I'm Can sorry. My fart? I'm really not going to answer that Men's question. Got I can't imagine such an unpleasant question to ask somebody. You fart. Uh, I absolutely think that your behaviour is disgusting. Men's got a couple, couple of things here, right? I do feel sorry for teachers sometimes. You know, like, they've got to deal with 30 kids. Especially... You know, in year nine, there's there's a couple of kids that just, you know, don't want to be there. They're just going to mess around. And you're, you're you're really passionate about you've went to university. You've learned about this subject. This subject's been your entire life. And then you go to teach it, and some kid just goes, Oh, miss, do you want to smell me fart? It's like, oh, what, what, am I, what am I even doing here? What am I doing here? They must be soul destroyed so much. Miss, I just want to ask you a simple right, question. Right, you can come back at five past three. I'm going to call your father. About the fart debate and the all of constantly, <laughs> constantly talking to me. Oh, I feel a little bit sorry for the teacher. I don't like personally. I don't find this kind of. I don't find this that funny. Like like taking the piss of the, out the teacher and then just like filming it for your Snapchat story. It's like oh wow, that's that's really cool, mate. Really good. I hope she sees this. That's really cool. Makes you look really, really cool. I don't know. I need, I didn't even find that funny when I was in school. Like where. Like, it is funny sometimes where people, like, backchat the teacher, but when, like, you're going out of your way to make, like, the teacher's life a misery, I think it's now I've left school and I know people that are teachers, I'm like, ah, oh, it's just a little, it's a little shit. It will not move! I am not going to anymore! I am scandalous! Oh my god. You will do nothing better than teacher! Yes, I do not want you to come late! Do my lessons! Because he was late, Jesus Christ. That's the type of teacher you know, right? That when he, you know, goes home half five, opens his door, he just starts swinging. Just starts, just, oh, it's just awful when he gets home, right? Probably has a stellar in him. Christ, did you see that? It's like a poof. You will never come late. That is a little intense from this man. You're bad enough for the rest of the set. Who the hell do you think you are? Also, what is this classroom? Like, what are these windows? Is this in prison? Jesus, why have they got a window that just looks out into another window? What is this? What is this inception? It's frying my brain. <laughs> There's a window that looks into another window. God, what is this architectural design and who designed this? They should need to be shot. Bloody savages! Oh, he's still going. Everything has to be the way you want it! I am not going to put up with this anymore! Teachers always do that, they'll just say the worst things on earth. Like, with a really deep voice, and then they'll go, Right, turn to chapter seven. I'm glad that this person filmed this, because, um, clearly this happens a lot if, if they've filmed this. Like, like surely they've just tried to catch it on one occasion. Like, they wouldn't have just pulled their phone out, I don't believe. So, Christ. Hopefully everyone that goes to that school has not been harmed physically. Because they've definitely been harmed emotionally, guys. 
How teachers expect us to be like that? Yeah, we're on our way. Yeah, we're on our way. <laughs> okay, class, you did a great job. Now let's take roll. <laughs> That's so funny. That is so true. Why did they do that? There would be like a fire alarm off, and the teacher would be like, okay. Okay, the school is burning down, but guys, can we just get single file? Right, come on. If we're burnt to death, at least we're burnt in a single file. Because imagine if we're burnt in a gaggle. That would be awful, guys. Don't know why they did that. And then when you'd leave the class, you'd have to, like, walk like this. I'm telling you, if there's a fire in the school, I'm not walking single file. I'm like, get out me way. Get off. Save myself. <laughs> me when the teacher calls the table by my uh, right, next, uh, Cam's table. I'd be like, <laughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry, whose table? Who is this? She said, Cam, that's Cam. Guys, come on, follow me, follow the leader. I didn't hear Bethany's table, did I? No, get back. It was such a power move, especially me when I was quiet in school. They said it to me, I was like, oh, okay, well, that's my weak maid. Felt like I could conquer the world when the teacher said my name. Normally, the teacher would always say my name wrong as well. Like, I'd always get called Callum, and every time it would crush us, because I'd be like, ah, oh, I've had this teacher for like nine months now and they still call me Callum. Clearly not that memorable, am I? That's probably why I got into YouTube. Maybe I was trying to search for attention. <laughs> I was like, they will know my name. So if anybody says Callum is my favorite YouTuber in the comments, I will find you. Year 11, this is the very important year. Mm-hmm. We are doing our GCSEs in May, oh. year 11. Mm-hmm. We do is not- Is triggering us? Is it really, really triggering us? But not like in a bad way but in a good way like uh, this person is very good at doing this but it's so good it's triggering us oh it's taking us back it's the head nod it's the mm mm-hmm year 11 you're 11 why did they always like like really pronunciate it you're 11 you're 11 you don't mess around now mm -mm. Mm -hmm. not have any time to waste mm-hmm uh boys we should not be talking, boys. Mm-hmm. We cannot waste any learning time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounds like, what's that rap I called where he goes, mm-mm. There's a Tion Wayne. No, <laughs> that Keisha Peggy song. Mm-mm. Uh, this, I think this guy must, um... I think this person must create content for BBC. He could have says BBC Bite Size. Funny story, I actually used to work for the BBC before I, uh did this full time so I'm, i wonder if he does the same thing as me i like edit content for it that's cool i didn't realize they were still kind of making videos we are already five lessons behind boys Mhm. Mm right i do not have time for this no everybody open bbc bite size immediately oh the best thing about bbc bite size was the games I like the c oh my god do you remember the cbbc games oh don't talk to me about them. Wow, the trapped game. Oh, I felt like I was in it. It's like Facebook games, Yeovil. Oh, Farmville. Oh, the amount of people I chatted up on Yeovil when I was like 12. God, that was a menace. <laughs> See how you feel and we'll send you back to the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we've said this in the last one we did, but the, the, that's what all the school nurses would say. Just see how you feel. Just see how you feel. Have you tried drinking water? Right, drink some water. I know you've got cancer, but hey, right, a bit of a bit of H2O in you, it'll do you fine. You'll be backed up to scratch in no time. You would though, you'd be so ill. Like, I don't know if it came out of teachers' wages to send you home, but they wouldn't do it, no matter what. They didn't want to send you home at all. I don't think I got sent home once. Like, that's what your mum would say as well, or like your, your parents, they'd be like, you'd be like, oh yeah, mum, I'm ill. Like, I'm, I'm, I've been sick all through the night. They'd be like, I tell you what, I tell you what, that's fine. You'll go into school, and then if you will, I can pick you up. It's like you can't pick me up when I'm there. It's like prison. They don't let you leave. As soon as I step through that door, I no longer belong to you until three o'clock. These people don't let me leave. They've got windows that look into other windows. Okay? I'm not allowed to see the sunlight. Please, mom. By the way, guys, I just want to say, if you want to help this UK boy, Hit 100,000 subscribers, press subscribe now. 66.1% of you have not subscribed to the channel and quite frankly, that makes me feel so sad. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers, so help us on this journey and let's get back to the video. Did he 
Year 10's now that the year 11's have left. It really do be like that though. It actually does. I remember when I was in year 10 and you see the year 11's leave, you're like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and then you look at the year 9's, you're like, I am the captain now. Yeah, that is, that's actually nostalgic, like when the, when the when you're the actually oldest. It's also kind of scary though. I found it kind of scary. You do get the best seats in like, in the, the, uh, the dinner hall though. Unless like the more popular people in in your year, then then they also bully you. So you're not you're never really at the top. Then people are at the top. <laughs> English teachers were like that, weren't they? Like English teachers would like see see a meme about like Lenny wanting to play with the rabbits, and they'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that lady. He's a character, right, guys? He's a character. God. Yeah, I think it's because they're used to, like, extracting absolutely everything out of nothing. You no, know, like, in Of Mice and Men, where they're, like, Curly's wife. They didn't give her a name because, apparently, she, she, they didn't value her. It's like, well, th did that actually happen? Really? Fair enough, there was, there was different classes back in the day, but surely not everyone just called her Curly's wife. That's like, imagine just going up to someone and going, Oh, hello Curly. Oh, hello Curly's wife. You would just call them their name, surely. Morning. Oh, Morning. the goat. Oh, you look nice. Stand uh, up. Girls? Caroline Wicks Yes, here. you three. Could you come the here, goat. please? Do we really think that this is appropriate to wear at school? Mm-hmm. No. Actually, I'm a bit worried if you do think it is appropriate. Not leaving much to the imagination, girls. I think... To save a phone call home, you should go to PE Lost and Found and see if there's something. Or if you have to- Oh my god, I, I, I would actually just leave if they said that to me. Fair enough if you're coming in something really, you know, really bad. But they would do that for like lasses just wearing a skirt. I think it's just because if the teacher- well, I, I, I want to know, like if it's non-uniform day, like, right. I kind of didn't even get it when they would, they would do it on uniform day about skirts. But like on non-uniform day where you can wear literally- what you want, it's a non-uniform. When? Why do they still say something? Oh, goodness me. Boys, boys, what did we say about people coming in in fancy dress? What's that? Yes, I know you think it's hilarious to dress as the Teletubbies, but this is a learning environment, isn't it? Coming. Who? Did that happen? Who? What boys are, are coming in on non-uniform day dressed as the Teletubbies? Can you imagine going into school and the boys have just rocked up as Tinky Winky, Dipsy and Lala? Wow, those are the coolest guys ever. To be fair, that is actually quite funny. It's kind of rogue. I kind of rate it. Has everyone remembered their swimming costumes? <laughs> Hands up if you haven't. It's always one, isn't there? Well, Casey, you're not going to be able to do swimming today. No, I'm sorry. If you haven't got your swimming costume, there's nothing we can do, I'm afraid. Caroline has properly, like, nailed this character so well. Even the fact she holds the lanyard, that's what teachers would do when they talk like that. She has everything down to a T. I suppose if you've done, like, a hundred videos on being a teacher, you probably are going to have it nailed, but still. Year fours, I know this is very exciting that we are going swimming during school, but can I just remind you that we are ambassadors for our school. We are representatives for our school. They used to say that when we used to go to the swimming baths every week, but I never used to really believe it because our people in my class were just like mental. Like I remember going to the swimming baths. There was this, this kid in my class. He had a Veruca, okay? Bearing in mind, we'd been going for three months and he only just decided to tell everybody. And everybody knows that for some reason, as soon as a Veruca goes in the water, Everybody's now gonna get Farukas. I don't know how it works, but apparently that's just the case. So then he didn't even put a Veruca sock on it. He just put a normal sock on it. So this kid would just go swimming with a socky sock on. Three months after he told anybody. I always remember that. And I remember just thinking, wow. God. Just thinking of yourself there. Gladly I did not get a Veruca. That would have been awful. If you are caught messing around, you will not be allowed to come on these trips on a Friday afternoon. You'll have to stay at the school and do schoolwork instead. Ah, I always remember our swimming teacher was, I was, like, I just always felt she was like staring. But like in a weird way. No, I, I felt like a hard drive need checked. Anyway, guys, if you would like to watch me react to some more TikToks only British schoolers will understand, click right here. Or you want to see me react to another video, click right here.
Chan Kirkhan, baby.